Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. So today we're going to be doing a product review about the newest Bare Minerals bronzer that they have. Before we get started, if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. I try my best to put out videos three times a week. And if you're an oldie but a goodie savvy, hey girl, it's nice to see you again. Okay, so let's get to this review. By the way, you guys, also, if you see swatches on my hand, I was at Sephora, I was having a little too much fun swatching, and they just wouldn't come off. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> okay, so first off, let's take a look at the packaging. I love how nice and sleek this bronzer is. It's so beautiful, I love the black and the gold slash copper tones in here. And the color that I got of the bronzer is uh, dark to deep. So when I open it up here, it's got a little mirror here and then also the bronzer. I was swatching this earlier, so don't mind this. It doesn't come shiny in the middle. <laughs> I'll explain why mine looks like that, but pretty much it looks like the rest of this just this red undertoned bronzer so let me just swatch this on my hands so you guys can see what it looks like it's really really light um this is the darkest color that they have first off i'll say that it is this light because it's a baked bronzer. So I'm just gonna read the back of the box to you guys so you can see the description. It's supposed to be a silky, ultra-fine baked bronzer that captures the natural warmth of a healthy-looking sun-kissed glow in the perfect shade for your skin tone. So first I was like kind of alarmed because I was like, oh snap, like this looks lighter than the bronzer that I actually have. So I was like, uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna try not to be so judgmental, you know, until it's actually on my skin. Also, I wanna explain to you guys why this looks so shiny in the middle. So when I went to swatch it with a brush on my hand, I found that nothing really came off. Like the bronze or pigment didn't come off on my arm and I was alarmed <laughs> to say the least. I was like, how am I supposed to use it if it won't come off with a brush? So um, I used all different kinds of brushes. I used uh, this one, my MAC uh, 135, that didn't work. I used uh, this Luxie 538 brush, that didn't work. And then I was like, okay, what do I do when I use something that's not as pigmented but I want it to be really pigmented? I use MAC Fix Plus. So, uh, that's what I did to swatch it on my arm, and it looks really nice. Since it's a baked bronzer, it's gonna have some shimmer in it because it's supposed to, you know, try and mimic that natural glow. So, let's go ahead, spray this brush down with Fix Plus, and then we can do like a live application. Okay, and then this is the bronzer. Let's just go ahead and dip it in. You really gotta like push it in a lot and to be honest it doesn't even come off uniformly so I'm a little worried so cross our fingers hope it looks good so it's coming off but it's oh there you go you can kind of see it so as you can see here it's super super subtle this is not for a really defined, like, sharp contour look. It's kind of like subtle and glowy. By the way, I don't have any bronzer, or any blush on at all. So you can just see that it's only the bronzer that's giving off that nice glow. I don't know if you guys can tell up here, but it's super, super subtle. It's actually kind of growing on me. I think um, if you're somebody that's really into, like, the no makeup look, this is definitely going to be for you. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna show you guys. This is what it looks like on the cheeks here. It didn't show up so much on my forehead area, but you can just 
get a feel for it. So I'll be back in a second and then I'll tell you guys what my thoughts are. So I just wanted to show you guys some comparison swatches. Now the one on my index finger is the Bare Minerals Bronzer. The one in my middle finger, that is my Tarte Contour Shade from the Tartiste Contour Palette. And then the one on my ring finger, that's my Girlene Terracotta Bronzer. So at first I really wasn't sure whether I was going to like this bronzer and I have to admit when I went to swatch it with a brush on my arm, I was definitely worried that I didn't immediately see it, it didn't show up. But it does say that this bronzer is buildable. So if I want to make it super dark, I could make it super dark. I do like that it gives you the option to go very light. So on those days where you want to wear minimal makeup, but you still want to look a little bit chiseled or a little bit like glowy, then I think that's really going to work. I think if you're doing a full makeup look, you really have to like build up that pigmentation because it doesn't show up at first. I think I really like it. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to return it because I think it's going to be really good going from spring to summer because it's really going to give you that nice glowy feature as opposed to that harsh contour because sometimes you just want to switch it up. You want to look nice and natural and glowy, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I like it for that purpose. Just my first impression is just that I really like it and I think it's a different finish than I'm used to. I'm not used to like a more sparkly bronzer, but I think it looks really well. I do think the key to using this is to use a flat topped brush because it's just not as pigmented, so you really need to like build it in there, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, if you guys have tried this bronzer, please let me know how you feel about it. And if you would like to try it, I want to know that too in the comment. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Don't forget to give this a thumbs up as well. All right, bye guys.